Every day, hundreds of thousands of us line up for a daily dose of coffee. But the takeaway cups we grab on the run are mounting up in their millions. Even the cardboard variety is lined with plastic and they're posing such an environmental catastrophe, the World Economic Forum recently predicted there'll soon be more plastic than fish in the ocean. Sarah White reports. It's a daily fix and Australians are hooked. We average about 500 cups a day in regular sizes uh, mostly. But our love affair with coffee comes at a cost. Predominantly you would sell takeaway cups, that's really what you're... That is uh, basically what um, people are... Uh... Uh, required, required because most of them are going to work or going to classes. Most people think these disposable coffee cups are environmentally friendly. They're wrong. Would it surprise you that it actually has lots of plastic actually in the lining of the cup? Um, that does surprise me, yeah. yes. I think people don't realise when they're using that disposable coffee cup that's going to outlast their time on Earth. These cups have a plastic lining that when they go away, either end up in landfills where they don't biodegrade, or they end up in the environment where they become a major pollution hazard. Every year, Australians use one billion of these cups, of which a large majority end up in facilities like this. In fact, coffee cups now make up the second largest contributor to litter in this country behind plastic bottles. We grab that coffee cup, we get that caffeine fixed and then we forget about it. Tim Silverwood is passionate about his coffee, but only when it comes in a ceramic mug. You look in a bin, you can see those coffee cups are taking up a huge volume of those bins, which means they need to be collected, they need to be transported and dealt with. So there's a lot of hidden problems behind the single-use coffee cup culture. Did you know that they had plastic in the actual cup? No, I didn't. I thought it was just mostly cardboard that would easily degrade in the environment. Maybe the top, but probably not the actual cup itself. I've found a couple of samples as I was walking here today. Uh, these are just two standard coffee cups. Now, this one is very quite standard but what we're talking about is the fact that it looks quite innocent paper but if you uh, look on the inside here you can actually see that there is a thin lining of plastic so even though the paper may actually degrade and become inert the plastic will stick around for a really long time so I don't think anyone really realizes this this video shows coffee cups being made in Taiwan it is here that the plastic lining is inserted inside the cup. If we keep going with this, we're going to find we're going to end up with a sort of complete little plastic sack. And uh, this is obviously what's going to persist in the environment for a really long time. And this is what makes the cups non-recyclable. The, the paper, in essence, is highly recyclable, but the plastic lining is what's going to cause complications. <laughs> Green Senator Peter Wish Wilson spends a lot of time in the water. You see bits of plastic floating past. When you duck dive through a wave and you come up, and I'm, I'm not joking, you come up with plastic bags around your head, uh, look, it spoils it. He is also heading up a Senate inquiry into plastics. I can't think of a bigger global pollution issue than plastics in our ocean that is receiving no attention, no research, and no one's taking any action to do anything about it. Uh, the ocean's turning into a plastic soup. And given the ocean's the source of all life on this planet, we're gonna end up choking. If you make a coffee cup uh, as a producer, what responsibility do you have to how that cup is recycled and what further use it has. It can't just be left to the consumer. It's saying that no one Richard Fine takes his responsibility as a coffee cup producer problem. seriously, but says we should keep the problem in perspective. In the big scheme of things, it's a very small percentage of the waste stream. You know, um, 1.2 million cups, the plastic alone in there, if you just thought everyone was, was, was you know, lined with plastic, the plastic alone is you know, 60,000 uh, uh, kilos of plastic, so 60 tons of plastic, which is not significant. There's other, uh, other waste streams that generate far more larger volumes of, of waste than, than, than coffee cups. Unlike regular cups that have plastic lining, bio cups have lining made of natural ingredients. 
but 90% still end up in landfill. All of our cups are, are branded BioCup, and if they're not branded BioCup, they'll have a statement on saying lining made from plants, not oil. Our plastic lining will eventually biodegrade, and, and normal plastic lining will fragment into small pieces and probably persist in the environment for a lot longer. But such biocups come at a price. Would you ever go to you know more biodegradable cups that perhaps would have a cost? They have uh, they have offered it to us, but it's quite expensive. Um, it's more than double the price of the regular cups, uh, and uh, it's just you know it's not cost effective to to have a biodegradable cups at the moment. Yeah. With all the competitions uh, with the coffee shops all around us, we we can't. Um, we can't really afford to lose or to, to increase the prices of our coffees. Would you mind the price of your coffee going up? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. There's lots consumers can do. The first thing, of course, is they need to be aware of the problem. Um, they need to uh, reduce the use of single-use plastics. They need to reuse as much plastic as possible, whether it's plastic bags, plastic bottles uh, or other packaging. And, of course, they need to recycle. Uh, and on top of that, we need producers to look at redesign. It's simple about thinking, where does that cup go next? You've got a decision that you make when you're going to get that coffee. You can slow down and drink your coffee in. You earn that coffee. Enjoy it. But the other option is obviously just to take your own cup along. And that's the